Good day everyone. We will check what happens when we try to delete always on availability group from SQL Server Management Studio connected using always on listener name. Let's get started. I'll be using this particular environment for our video. JBS AG1 and JBS AG2 or uh, synchronous replica. JBS AG3 is an asynchronous replica. We have an uh, availability group configured uh, as JBS AG. The listener name is JBS APP and this um, availability group JBS AG will have a database called JBS Wiki added to it. Let's log into uh, the primary server, which is uh, JBS AG1. Let's have a look on um, the availability group JBS AG. If you look at the availability replicas, we can see that JBS AG1, AG2, and AG3 is there. And as far as the availability database is concerned, we have JBS Wiki. And as far as the listener is concerned, we have uh, JBS APP. So that's the listener uh, which we will be connecting to and then try deleting this particular availability group. Let's look at the always on availability group dashboard. If you see here, we have uh, JBS AG1 and AG2 uh, with uh, synchronous commit mode and JBS AG3 uh, as asynchronous commit mode. So right now, uh, everything is in green. Everything seems okay. So what we'll do now is like, let's disconnect this and then connect to uh, the listener name, which is uh, JBSAPP. And then what we'll do is like, we will try deleting the availability group. This is just a test. Uh, usually what we do is like, we connect to the primary replica and then we delete uh, the availability group. But I just want to check what will happen if um, we connect to uh, the listener and then we delete the availability group because the listener name is basically dependent on the availability group. And if we basically delete it, what will happen is like JBS APP uh, will be kind of lost and I'm not sure if that will be like uh, is an allowed operation in this scenario. So what we'll do now is like we'll go ahead and try deleting it. Before that, let's uh, look at the failover cluster manager. So JBS Wiki CLUST is the uh, cluster name. And if we go to the roles, I can see that we have a role called JBS AG. And then we look at the resources. What I can see is like we have this, uh, uh, the availability group JBS AG, and then uh, we have the listener name here. Yep. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to uh, delete this uh, availability group from uh, uh, SQL Server Management Studio. The only thing is like I'm not connected to the primary replica. Instead, I'm uh, connected to the listener name. Let's go ahead and delete it. I'm going to pause this video. Once uh, either if this operation completes or it errors out, I will uh, resume the video one more time. It took close to uh, one minute and then it uh, eventually failed. What I'm seeing is like I'm getting an error. Drop failed for availability group, JBS AG. And then if I look at the uh, error message, what I'm seeing is like it basically tells like drop failed for availability group, JBS AG. An exception occurred while executing a transact SQL statement or batch. And the error is a network related or instance specific error occurred while establishing a connection to SQL server. The server was not found or was not accessible. So this is the error we are seeing. Let's uh, click on OK. And then click on cancel here. So what we'll, what we'll do is like we will disconnect the listener name. And then let's connect to uh, the primary replica. And then let's look at the availability group dashboard. But what I'm seeing is like, I'm not able to see anything as far as availability groups is concerned. So let's connect the secondary replicas as well and then see if uh, we are able to see anything there. So if I go to the available, always on availability group, I don't see anything here. Let's uh, look at the asynchronous uh, secondary as well and then see if we are able to see anything there. And 
and if I see here, I'm not able to see anything here as well. So uh, what I understand is like the availability group got deleted, but we will have to discuss like why we got that particular error, which is a network related or instance specific error occurred while establishing a connection. That message we will discuss, but before that, let's look at the failover cluster manager and then let's see if we have anything here. So what I'm able to see here is like, I'm able to see no roles here. So that means like the availability group is kind of dropped. Even though we got that error, we are able to uh, uh, understand that the availability group has um, uh, been dropped. Now, uh, very uh, important information. I'm not recommending here to uh, drop the availability group by connecting to the listener. Uh, this is just a, uh, a demo to see what happens we, uh, if we try deleting the availability group uh, while connected to the listener name from SSMS. But in reality, if you have to drop the availability group, you basically have to log into your primary replica and then you have to drop it. And as far as uh, this demo is concerned, the reason why we got that error is like, uh, as we know, like listener is basically dependent on the availability group. After we dropped, what was happening is like after the drop was completed, it was trying to make a connection to um, JBS APP, which was the listener. And since it was uh, not present at that point in time, so what happened is like we basically caught that error. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Jai Hind.